Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to take a drawing you did and put it into Synfig, the animation program, and then show you a very basic example of making it move across the screen. So in separate videos, um, you may have seen, if I did all this right, um, you may have seen how to make a ping file. So because again, when you have your initial sketchbook thing, you take a picture of it or you scan it, you put it on your computer, it's got this paper background behind it. And so uh, you want to, before watching this video, you want to have your image as a ping file where you've taken out the white space around it and made it into just an object that can be moved around as a .png or ping file. So let's say you've done that. And in my case, I did that with a uh, sugary beverage bottle looking thing. So I have, I just opened Synfig. I have a new file. Um, I'm just gonna save it under, not diffuse alveolar hemorrhage, but under maybe, oh, I don't know. I'll just put it on my desktop for now and I'll call it um, a tutorial Synfig um, image drop. Okay, great. So to pull in my image from my computer, I want to go to, nope, yep, <laughs> File, Import, which is also Control-I, if you're so inclined. And let's see, where did I drop this thing? So on my desktop, I have an image that I called Bottle Ping. Um, and so I'm going to import that. Ooh, and it's really giant. <laughs> um, so, oh, and I'm going to try to say everything as I do it, every little click. So I, so I imported this drawing, but it's way too big. Um, so one option is I can make my dimensions bigger, but for our purposes, let's just make the image smaller. So it came in and I just clicked on it with the arrow tool, meaning just, you know, the pointer is selected, click on it, and this box appeared. If you're not seeing all these dots, like the yellow dot and the green dot and the blue dot, you can always choose which of these appear with these buttons. So like if I take away if I unclick these, you see some of the dots start to disappear. Some of those don't apply here, but you get the idea. So I'm gonna re-select re, uh, all those. Uh, and this brown dot, at, so I should say the green dot here lets you move things around. Green, and that's like everything in this program, whether it's an effect or an object or a skeleton or whatever, the green dot is what makes it move. Uh, the outer dots, this like kind of yellow and this kind of yellow, these both, um, you know, these are basically to scale things, to make it like skinny, undo that, or to make it short and squat, undo that. So, and if you want to proportionally shrink something down, use this thing at a right angle to it, this um, brown dot. So, I'm, oh, it's orange when it's selected. So I clicked it um, and I'm just gonna click and drag, shrink it down. This is just like shrinking a picture in PowerPoint or Word or whatever you're used to. So I'm gonna make it really small, just for our purposes here. Um, and this sort of file, you know, ping files can really zoom in and not lose their um, resolution in, in some sense. I guess I'm probably saying that wrong, but. So great, so we imported a drawing we did, and now we can, with the green dot, I can move it wherever I want. The blue dot I didn't mention rotates it you know, so if you want your bottle to, to spin like a, some kind of cool commercial or something, great. All right, so you notice that right now, I'm not animating anything, I'm just, it, I'm doing what you could do again in like Microsoft Word or PowerPoint. I just have a picture and I'm moving it around, woohoo. Um, so now let's say I wanna start it on the left side of the screen and I wanna animate it so that it moves over to the right side of the screen. Well. When you wanna tell Synfig that it's time to animate and not just change the baseline shape of something, you click this little green dude or gal and make him or her red. See now, now he's running, so he's animated, right? <clears throat> and then below it here, you have this timeline and, and these are in frames. Um, and for our purposes, we're not being so precise that we need to know offhand like how many seconds or anything. I won't get into that just to keep it basic, but um, and you automatically have at frame zero what's called a keyframe. So a keyframe uh, are just like important points in time. 
So in old animating days, the master animator would draw the keyframes, the most important poses of the character, and then the interns would go off and draw the little frames in between. And so that's kind of where this idea comes from. They're these key moments. But in Synfig, keyframes are kind of where the thing like anchors to, um, which would make more sense as you go on, but just keep that in mind. And so regardless of how your window is set up, I know there are different versions, somewhere you'll have access to a keyframe uh, window. So what I'm actually gonna do to make this point is I'm gonna go to, to um, the 12th, let's do yeah, the 24th frame over here by clicking on the timeline, clicking 24. And then I'm gonna go to my keyframe window and click the plus sign, look at that. And so now it's gonna make a new keyframe at 24. And I love that you can keep organized in this program and label things. So description on, at the zero, I'm gonna call it start. And this one I'm gonna call like finish bottle, fly, whatever. So, and if I messed up, and at any point, if you wanted to make this happen sooner or later, you can change what frame this happens by by typing in a different number. So now I'm gonna use just like a tape recorder or whatever <laughs> to keep it low tech. Um, you can go back to the beginning here, or you can toggle between keyframes with these key buttons. So I'm gonna go back to the beginning here. My cursor's at frame zero. And this is basically where I want things to be. Um, and look, as soon as I shifted that bottle just a little bit with the green dot to change its position, it's already anchoring and saying, hey, okay, I'll move that at frame zero, but at frame 24, unless you tell me otherwise, I'm gonna keep it where it was before. So as I click and drag back and forth along this timeline, look at that, already it's saying, hey, you changed this. Um, now if I say, okay, yeah, that's right, I want it to be at this place at time zero, but no, I want it to be all the way across the screen at time 24. You put the cursor at 24 and say, by frame 24, put my bottle here, okay? Now you'll see, I'm gonna just hit save, always hit save a lot, so I do control S or just hit save here because um, this program freezes. <laughs> um, now if I click and drag along my timeline in this gray area, look at that, woo, it's moving back and forth, all right. Um, that's pretty cool. So now you've animated, and it's a little glitchy, but if you hit play, boop, 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 boop. Awesome. Okay, put it back at the beginning. And then what if I wanted to actually not just go straight across, but I wanted to kind of hop. I wanted to like kind of go up and then kind of land slowly. So as if something kicked it or something. So if I want to do that, maybe I'll go less than halfway out, like click somewhere here. Okay, frame six. <clears throat> and I want to say, okay, at frame six, bottle, instead of being just sliding there, I want you to be popped up in the air. Um, and you know what? I want you to be kind of like rotated too, like someone kicked you, and I'm going to shrink you a little bit so you stay in the frame. Uh, and then you can spend the rest of the time between frame six and the next keyframe, 24, working your way from there over to the, the landing place. And you see every change I make here, it's adjusting and saying, all right, you can make these changes there to how it's angled, to how it's skewed, all these things. But by the time I get to keyframe 24, I'm putting it back how it was, unless you tell me otherwise. So now if I click and drag along my cursor starting from zero, and we go slowly along here, it's gonna pop up fast and then go right? So pop up fast. Awesome. And so that's the basics. Um, so to review, what we did is we um, imported the image, um, going to File, Import, or Control-I, finding that ping file on your computer, which drops it in here. When we first got it, we were not in animate mode, we were in the green mode here, and so we were able to shrink this big picture down using the orange button. We were able to move it around using the green button and so on. We could rotate it with the blue button if I didn't say that explicitly. And then we went into animate mode. And this is so important to remember when you're in animate mode and not. But yeah, we went into animate mode, have our red running man here. And then we created a keyframe at zero that was there. And then we created a keyframe at 24 using the plus sign. And then we started deciding at a given keyframe where the position of the object would be. And then we added some flare 
by saying, okay, between the keyframes, I want you to go to this point in the middle, this waypoint, and you know, connect the dots between there.